me, I'm not normally a person who, who try to sell things. And like, I'm lying, I do sell things, but I don't sell clothing. These are these good, nice, clean, similar boots. Look at that. Look at the bottom. Good, as, good, brand new, main condition. But I, I can't fit them. And, um, I was them. And I had them in my car for three years. Try to give them to people, people that I don't wear your size, etc., etc. So, National Cancer Center clothing. Dodium is people who eat them, man. Right? That's life. That's what you should do, always. It's not what you're doing it for. I know. If you're seeing this video right now, you're probably thinking, gosh, this video is way far off in time. But it's not. This is New York weather. Yeah, one day you're wearing a, a sheet, a t-shirt with a, with a nice snapback or a dad cap. Next day you're wearing a whole hoodie with a scully on. And the weather's like this. Hey. If you're not from New York, welcome to New York. It'd be just your luck, cause you know, you'll do stuff for the day and then you'll put off stuff. And then you're like, hey, I'll just wait till tomorrow to go to Walmart and Target to get these essential things that I need. And then just so happen when that next day comes, the weather looks like this. That you promised yourself you was gonna do this. So it's now it's like, how to do it yeah that's one of them days right now i'm having well let's get this day started now today today is a little interesting i don't know i also put on my to-do list to make this video and um you know because of the loudness and the rain and stuff i was i was like kind of like making excuses Cause I know like just the noise in itself, just hearing the rain falling against the car, and, you know. I was just like, I don't think today would be a good day to make the video. But, you know, you wanna stay kinda consistent cause if you don't do it, I was supposed to do this video yesterday. And when you don't do the video today, and you don't do it tomorrow, then your chances is you're just not gonna do it at all, right? So I just figured, hey man, let me take initiative and um, let's just do this. Let's just do this thing. So now we, we, we're gonna we're gonna get into it, but you know, I'm gonna keep you guys' attention because I know seeing one senior is it's kind of boring. So you know, we're gonna we're gonna be in you know, call me on some little errand run. You know, we're gonna be in Target and we're gonna uh, get some groceries and. You know, we're gonna discuss life. Cause right now you with me in a day, in a day of the life. So we talking about life here. So how real can it be with without you not being a part of my life during the day, right? So now I'm gonna say this, cause I wanna I wanna clarify this. And, and this is in no way, shape, or form that I am I am saying let anyone into your life. But the topic of discussion today is that the people who come into your life are in your life for a reason. And whether if it's short term, long term, everyone is in your life for a reason. You learn from them. And you learn from them whether it's, gosh, this is a person I do not want to be, or gosh, this is a person I do not want want to be around <laughs> or it could be in preference of oh gosh this is a person I want to be with or I would like to grow with so that that terminology um but reason why I say um I'm not condoning like oh just like anyone in your life because the, the topics of discussions and the people that I will be sharing with you in this in this in this conversation 
uh, these people have impacted me um, positively or negatively, but to every negative, there is a positive. And you know, you learn from the situation, you grow from it, you become a stronger and better person, you know? Um, I, I'm a firm believer of that um, whatever happens in your life, it, uh, it happens for a reason. Um, and you know, the man upstairs, and how the world works, it, it, they were placed in your life to help better you or shape you to evolve and become a much better version of yourself. So, <laughs> that's why I said, I'm not saying, oh, this guy's an asshole or she's a she's an asshole, but hey, <laughs> Reese said, if you let this person in your life, I can learn from them and nah, I'm not. Try your best to avoid people. And most of the time, it'd be the person that you really think are the most genuine, sweetest, nicest people, and those are the ones that really let you down. So I think those those are the people you learn the most valuable lessons from because when I tell you, it, it hit. <laughs> and it comes, like, unwarranted, like, just unexpected. And I think those are the best lessons because you don't see them coming. And then you become more equipped and, like, you, you gain that knowledge then you can see the characters and those people and others and you can prevent those situations. Oh, here we go. Probably one of my most favorite places in the world. Tar J. Look at this idiot. The idiots can't jog. But, um, I don't, um, I don't know. Like, even though I praised, if you know me, I praised Tar J. But I recently sent out a tweet saying that Tar J and Walmart was one of the best places to shop and only Walmart got back at me so I don't know I think um Tajay about to get removed this is something you always gotta make sure you get a basket because sometimes I'm like oh I'm just picking up a few things and then you know I got a handful of stuff and I'm dropping stuff everywhere <laughs> these are here probably one of my top five favorite cookies those and the biscoffs that you know Delta sells, probably the best. Um, I don't see them though. Oh, these. Yes. Quick one down. Got some good cereals. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. These is puffs. Lucky Charms, but I don't know those. These. Tricks. They got it bad. I wasn't messing with them when they had the uh, the circles, but they brought like the shapes. Tricks is cool for a calm day. I don't like Fruit Loops no more. Oh, they got Peeps. Mm. Frost Reflake smacking, you hungry as shit. Um, honeycomb fire. And Fruity Pebbles. I think I'm missing one, but. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Of course. The Honey Nut Cheerios. Some are healthy. Some ain't. Don't judge me, though. <laughs> All right, so we finished our little grocery errand shopping. Um, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to talk in the store because, I don't know, even though it was dead, it's a rainy day, so that's good. But um, I didn't, I'm, I'm not used to vlogging. So just me, if I'm not on FaceTime and I got a phone to my face talking or a camera, just kind of weird. I'm not talking to somebody. I mean, I guess I could pretend I'm talking. I am talking to you guys, right? but I don't know. But um, being that I got everything that I need, my mind is clear. So we could just kind of dive in. Um people will place me in life. So, I'm not going to go into full detail. Like I said, cause these videos I do, they just be so long. Like, I really think I talk too much. But um, I had I had experienced one of my first heartbreaks. And um, I, don't know, I think it was probably my only, right? <laughs> God, I hope my heart ain't getting break out here all the time. But um, yeah, I experienced one of my first heartbreaks, disappointments, whatever you want to call it. 
and um i mean i was at ground zero like i was just like i was really down on my luck um and um you know i was a newly grad from high school not not college and i attended college and um you know you 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 got the age I'm 17. I want to I want to get my like you know, I want to kind of get my own independence. I want to feel mature, you know, that I'm on my, I'm out on my own. And um, one thing we needed that was needed the job. And um, at this point in life, there was a huge recession. And when I say recession, I mean there was no jobs hiring. Um, money was very scarce. I believe even the stock market crashed. So, yeah, it was just a lot going on. So it was very hard. And then, you know, let alone jobs wasn't high in a uh, newly high school grad with no experience. I mean, come on. Who comes out of high school with experience? I mean, but I could also blame myself because I could have signed up for McDonald's. They'll take anyone, right? But um, knock, knock. I was so desperate that if in my last quarter of the year, I was looking for a job, I did a, I did a sign for um, McDonald's and they still didn't call me. So <laughs> that tells you how deprived the world was, especially in New York. So I'm just like, I'm just defeated. I'm depressed. I haven't healed. Um, I haven't been able to keep my mind off it. I'm just kind of going to school and like, I can't get a job. I'm not making money. So it was a lot, man. I was really down. Um, then I meet this young lady and one of my, I think my second semester in college. Yeah, my second semester in college. I meet this young lady. I'm not gonna disclose her name, but um, she was she just she was actually she just enrolled in, and I was showing her around and and I mean this is me. This is this is me at my most simplest, lowest level. And like, still she seen like, like the, the character who I was. She was like, oh, you're so funny. And oh, you're so cute. And you know, you're this and you're that. And like, we, she was like, you're so smart. I used to help her with her homework. And like, you know, we just go through stuff. I just make her laugh. She used to write me letters in class. Like it was jokes, man. We had a whole conversation on paper in college. Like, really a dope cool fun person and um let alone that i forget to mention she was also beautiful too she was i was attracted to her and um yeah we, we clicked and you know she gave me her number she would call me nine o'clock when i die like you see the time right now she would call me she'll say nine o'clock that's our time and um like, I would look at it, it'll be 8.59, I'll be like, oh, dang, she's gonna call me. As soon as it turned nine, she's calling me. I kinda like that. It was kinda funny, it was cute. But, um, this this is when we gonna go into territory, territory, guys, so ladies and, and gents are friend zone. And that's exactly why I was placed. She was selling me kinda fake hope dreams, cause, you know, she would say certain things that were minuscule things, and, and like, I'm the type of person, like, remember, I'm low, at this point, this is me. I didn't love myself. I'm very low on self-esteem, etc. So, you know, I meet this girl, and like, you know, she she got out of a breakup. I helped her, and I get her advice, and she's helping me with mine. And we just got so close, and um, you know, she was, you know, she was just like me. She was like, I'm trying to get a job, you know, whatever like that. She went for a job interview, she got it. And I'm like, yo, wow, this is, I'm like, yo, see, I told you you gonna get it. And she was like, yeah, she was like, um, have you been looking? I was like, yo, I stopped. Like, I was like, yo, I've been applying to like 20, 30 jobs, not hearing nothing, like, I just quit. She was like, oh, you're gonna, you can do it, don't give up. You know, and she kind of put that battery back in me. And then I'm like, you know what? You're right, I'm, I'm a child. I didn't have any hope in myself though, but I literally went, got a job, and I got my first job at Radio Shack. Like, a job at Radio Shack, I hated that place for one as a kid. I hated that place. But ironically, like, I meet this girl. She helped me out of my sad, little depressed state. She put light into my life. And look at this, voila, she come to my life and now I find a job. And So from right there, oh, I'm set. I'm like, yo, 
I need her in my life. Like, I need a woman like her in my life. And I popped the question, and I got declined. Yeah, she declined me. <laughs> um, definitely embarrassing, uh, hurtful, and then like I don't know. But what what was also what was also like, you know, she said, you know, and you gotta pay attention. People say, oh, I'm gonna focus on me. Out of relationship, you know, I just think we should focus on ourselves. Blah, blah, blah. That's a red flag right there. Because what she what she's saying to you, she won't have the same energy for like the next person. Best believe it. A person she actually want to be with. So that's a polite way of just turning it down. So I took that. Cool. But what was unintentional, unintentional, what happened was um was unexpected. Um towards the end of that semester. She dropped the class and um, she dropped me. She dropped the class and then slowly after she dropped me. Like, and she was still going to school. I would see her and all that. I would see her, she'd look at me, keep pushing. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What? What happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, it wasn't, it didn't seem genuine. It, it seemed. Like, the only reason why you ever dealt with me is because we had class together. But then, no, that can't be right because you was calling me every day. So, me, my adolescent self, young, I was just confused. And that, that right there just put me even in a darker place. But guess what? I left that situation feeling a lot, a little, a lot more better. Even though what she did hurt, but it wasn't anything to, like, cry about. You know, I still felt good about myself than what I did before. And... Also, I, I had a job, <laughs> so I was making money, you know what I'm saying? And I was working to get my car, and, and I was just like, yo, I'm just gonna be focused on myself, like, and, and that's why it happened. And um, it's actually an update to that story, that person. Um, and I don't know if I should do a two-part. I think I should do a two-part, because this video is already getting lengthy. But, um, but yeah, long story short, I felt like she was placed in my life for a reason to help up like bring me out of that spot. And there's been a, a numerous amount of people that I have met that I helped get out of their situations that um, I put them in better and better situations and I spoke light into their life and I helped them get a perspective of things and help them move on with their life and, and handle things. And, 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 on, and honestly, that was probably my role. That was probably what I was meant to do. And just like I felt that person they were and a lot of other people. Um, I dated someone who, um, a type of person that I said I would never date. You know, it just wasn't my type, whatever like that. But you know, they were very consistent and they're very persuasive. And then I'm like, you know what? I think I'll do it. I think I'll try it. And I was absolutely right. I should never dated them. But you know, I learned that you know, never go out of your well. I'm not gonna say never go out of your comfort zone. That's bad advice. Go out of your comfort zone, obviously. But as far as dating, if someone is not your type, you feel like it's not gonna work, that is not your, that's just not your, like if this person listens to, to I don't know, hardcore rock and metal and, and do weird stuff that you're just not into, you just can't vibe with that, don't date them. Like it's just, be friends. You know what I'm saying? I guess you could try like, seeing you know by being friends and seeing but, but don't don't put yourself in something where you're just not attracted to the situation like don't just be like eh, i guess i could give it a try like because situations like that when you're not invested into it it just don't work and yeah she ended up playing me <laughs> for funny part but uh that's another story in itself too but um yeah every situation guys that you you go through in life um Remember this, that, that it's a situation that you can learn from, you can grow from, and um, whether if it's bad, look in the light of it. Look at what you learned from this situation, what you gained from it, what you can prevent the next time. These are key essential things that you, know, you can take into mind whenever you're dealing with anything. So um, never take anything personal. Um, 
you know a lot of people their actions their actions are based off of their their ignorance their immaturity or their selfishness um that feel like you're less than you know don't let things control your life based on what someone did to you years ago just learn from it and move on and i'm sure throughout time all the pain and stuff you'll love who you became because you become a, a much stronger wiser smarter person and that's the moral of life is to become each day a better person of you so i'm signing out guys so in summary don't look at how a person left your life but look at what they left with you whether it was positive whether it was negative take whatever was left whether it's something bad or something good and and take it as a lesson and use it to become a better person because as much as we like to dwell about what is what a person haven't done or things they put you through think about how much of a stronger person or a better person you became and i think that's what's important